Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Delp Chanel's 40s World. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming to my channel and thank you for all my new subscribers, my old subscribers, and my subscribers that are waiting to come. Okay. I'll speak it into fruition. And thank you guys. I hit my 3000 mark a few minutes ago. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're moving on up dun, 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 to the side to a deluxe apartment in the sky Boom, moving on up to the east side we finally got a piece of the pie yeah. thank you thank you thank you guys thank you for getting me to that three thousand mark but we only gonna do better we're gonna grow and we're gonna get stronger and then we're gonna get more equipment where well, i'm sitting out not with the mic in front of me but i'll be sitting out with my camera you know i'm getting out full edge and i like i said i got a lot of stuff going on but i'm blessed to have gotten what i've gotten before the new year started so hey because at one time y'all wasn't seeing me now you're seeing me cut up here and there do the dab do the dab do the dab <laughs> I'm too crazy, I know. But anyway, honey, baby, Nene over there in her camp talking about whether or not she wants to attend Cynthia Bailey's marital bliss invitation only wedding. And I'm like, Nene, 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 y'all on the outs right now. You ain't get to come to her Bailey barbecue and your barbecue. She ain't, well, she ain't invite you, girl. So how you know you gonna get an invitation? <laughs> you might get blocked, and I do mean blocked from the uh, nuptials. Okay, so girl, is that why you doing a, a segment over there at Hollywood Life? Yes, honey, Hollywood Life brought this story out on Nene Lee. Talking about she don't know if she asked or or something to that effect like i said i haven't really um got into the article yet but it seems like she ain't even been asked yet can she come to the wedding for she's saying out in the public eye and social media guess i guess hint hint something hint hint she want to come baby she's just too ashamed or too over herself that she feel like she don't need to um remind you that yeah you could invite her <laughs> So this is her calling card for all social media to be at your front door saying, Cynthia, please invite her. Now, whether she come or not, it's not going to be a real big thing, you know, just because she had you in her wedding. Um, hmm, I don't know. Are you having a, a bride's, um, what do you call it, a bride and bridemaids? Are you doing the traditional wedding or are you just going to drop the broom with the man? I, I, I don't know because, you know, I think he's an opportunist, you know, but you're going to do what you got to do. Hopefully you get a prenup, you know, because you know how that situation went with Peter. Okay? I'm just angry. Check out he got money. I don't know. Somebody want to spend your money first, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, well, your prenup, girl. We won't prenup. We won't prenup. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, girl. You seen Queen Slim? Queen and Slim moving. Is Mike going to be down like that for you, girl? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, girl. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going to move on, okay, because you, you know how I feel about it. So we don't even have to go be the dead horse, okay? We know how I feel about it. I know how you feel about it. And we're just going to see how it works out for you, okay? But Nene is asking on a grand um, stage that she wants to be invited, okay? So could you please, from Deb Chanel for this world, send her an invitation, okay? Make it all cute and everything. Even if you don't, she don't come, this year give you a nice present because she like that. She be ready to tell everybody before you even know what it is, what it is, okay? But anyway, please invite the lady, okay? But anyway, we're going to go on to the article. And again, like I said, it was from um, Hollywood Life uh, commentary or blogging site over there and uh it was written by cassie guild and lena brody uh 
So they tag teamed this one, and it actually got put out today, Eastern Standard Time, around uh, 6 o'clock, 6.52, almost 7 o'clock this evening, all right? So they're cranking them out, and I'm trying to give them to you all in my spiel, my entertainment world segment of how I saw it in my own opinion. Yes, Nene Leakes is saying, or not saying, she wants to be in attendance of Mike Hill and Cynthia Bailey's nuptials, okay? But anyway, they give a title as Nene Leakes reveals if she will or won't attend Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill's wedding. Nene seems ready to move past her on and off screen feud with Cynthia Bailey and spill the tea to Hollywood life exclusively. Okay, I was wondering hell, when that thing is going to last with you taping with Yovana and Marlo and that's all you want to be taping with. <laughs> I'm like, Nene, come on, girl. Drop this higher or holier than thou type of stance you're taking and kind of make back up with old sin over there. Let sin have something because she ain't going to never in my eyes be the one that puts you in your place or any other other ladies unless she has Mike Hill in the background saying, you just going to let the women talk to you any kind of way, girl. And see, he in too much women's business. He needs to stay in the men's world of business and just listen to women's scent come around, telling him how unfair some of the ladies are being to him or how Nene is being to her. Then he should just listen. Okay, come in. Don't need to get in women's uh, issues because we are catty by nature and we don't want to really be seen that we're wrong because we want to be right all the time but only true G's know how to say okay mm, I ain't gonna do that because I don't want to be deemed that I'm wrong or not I'm gonna assess this situation as much as I can because I don't want to go back and say sorry you know I want to live my own truth and I want to uh, present it the way I see it and hopefully everybody else can get with it you know, I'm not one of those arrogant people that think my way is always the highway. No, I see it and I look at all avenues and I try to do my deductive reasoning and logic and make my own assumptions, you know, from whatever I'm given to evaluate. And that's pretty much what it is, because I'd be I'd mostly be like, I want to be treated how uh, I want to put like this. I'm getting kind of tongue twisted. Uh, how I want to be treated is with respect and, and appreciation and all those good things. So if I treat you like that, I expect the same treatment back. Okay. When I don't receive it back, when it's not reciprocated, then I got a problem. But then I got to think about who I'm dealing with and are they on that level of understanding what I need? Because if that's, they're not, then you know, shame on me for dealing with people like that. Because you got to surround yourself around like minded people and people that definitely are on a higher level um that you're not on at the time that you're trying to expire to you want to you know mix yourself around those type of individuals the movers the shakers the energizers and the go-getters if you want to be uh not at a stagnant stagnant type of level you want to keep elevating elevating so you got to be around people that make you grow that um and motivate you so yeah so i'm like nene um baby girl we're getting old so we can't be doing everything out there anymore we got to pick and choose our battles we got to pick and choose what we feel like we want to do and grow it okay you can't be hopping around here and there and that, you know mm -mm, mm -mm. you can't do it you gotta find pick something fine tune it and grow it you know what i'm saying and stop trying to be the it be all and that people got to come to you and pay homage totally and do everything you tell them to do because then you just want subjects you won't do people you don't want people such as got caliber and real good friendship and that can teach you something because everybody can be taught something new each day if you just give it a chance open up a little bit more and stop being living in that tunnel vision type of um scenery that you're trying to put yourself in because technically if Cynthia was, you know, flying off the handle or flying off at the mouth talking about you or whatever, you could have confronted her on screen or off screen, however you want to put it, 
and got her together. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had to call her stupid. You ain't had to call her weak. You ain't had to tell, you know, um, just demean her all the way down to like she is not even a human being. How you was trying to rip her down and like gut her out and then rebuild who you want her to be. And that's pretty much your lap dog. But I don't know when Cynthia, Cynthia going to come to her, her realization her ideology of how she's going to put you back in her life. Because right now, I don't think she worried about a mic here. <laughs> she ain't worried about you, Nene. I hate to say it, but she not. Now, if she didn't have nobody, yeah, she have been at your door crying and, you know, like a little puppy, you know, trying to, you know, not, you know, scratch his way in or whatever. Yes, we all know that. Those who have eyes to hear. I mean, see and eyes to hear. Yeah, look at me. Eyes to see and ears to hear. They know Cynthia would have been about that life begging you back. But, you know, to be in your graces, you know, your environment. But she has my key on now. And if you're a true woman, you know, women get gone. They gonna choose a man every day, all day over a friendship. That's just where it is, you know. I ain't going to say, I'm not, don't let me generalize that. We're going to say some. We're going to say all because we got some women that, that, you know, they know they man and then they know they friends. They good, 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 Lonnie, good, what name? Lonnie B.B. saying he's the good, good girlfriends. Yes, y'all need to go check him out. He funny as crap. But anyway, um, mm, I don't know. I mean, like I said, you and um, Cynthia has been friends for a very, very long time since y'all both been on this season. Or which y'all are giving us of a... Nah, let me take that back. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she was your lap dog. She was great. She she loved playing the part. Because even when you called Peter, her husband, uh, a bitch and, and, and all that kind of stuff. I like, did she check out my husband a bitch? That one, we would have been solidifying a new type of friendship. And it was like, get on your ass every time I can. If you talk about my man like that again in public. All right. That would have been like a whoop of your ass moment. Okay. Verbally. I'm not talking about physically. Because they probably would have hit each other. And they probably would have been in the hospital. <laughs> Fight for dear life. Because they ain't no young women around here. You hit them one good time. You might go in a coma or somewhere. But anyway. Uh, yeah. I just want Nene and uh, Cynthia to cut this foolishness out. Uh, Cynthia, show us what you're working with. You got the whole season 12. From episode one to episode, I don't know if this would be the fifth episode or did we see the fifth episode? Um, I think that we just, no, I think the fifth, fifth, uh, fifth episode is just coming up. But if it's not and it is, I think it's the fifth episode. We just went on the fourth episode. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm rambling at this time. I don't want to ramble anymore. But y'all know episode is coming up where we're supposed to see Kenya Moore act a fool on uh, showing up at marlo hampton's hair wig promotion thing she's doing a lot of a line of hair care products uh wigs that she's uh, bringing out there for the consumer to partake of and that's gonna be a hot mess right there but it seems like all the women are being taped of course nini's gonna be there because that's her friend or foe i don't know how i really go at this time because i'm looking at all of them like i said as independent contractors they give us whatever drama they want to give us whatever they want to embellish of their storyline they can do that as well but i'm not even looking at them as friends anymore i'm just like these their co-workers their constituents their colleagues okay they're going to work they're going into battle and they're giving us drama which is why we come over to see the real housewives of atlanta okay we don't really want their little you know um, connections where they have they feel good moments we don't really want to see that okay that's not what bravo is paying them for anyways ratchetness okay ratchetness and verbal abuse in a sense <laughs> I'm just saying, girl. I'm just saying. I'm saying, God. But anyway, going into the article, it said Nene Leaks 52 and Cynthia Bailey 52 seem to be on better terms. And Nene just revealed if she would attend her Real Housewives of Atlanta co star's wedding to sportscaster Mike Hill 49 if she was invited. So there you go. If Cynthia sends her invitation, God willing, Nene would show up there with bells on. And that, that would be the most honorable thing to do because she did have Cynthia in her wedding and they've been off and on with their friendship contract here and there so it's gee what it is if you want to call them friends I call them friend foe who knows at the time it just depends on each season and each reason and each episode okay 
Uh, but anyway, it said, yeah, sure. Nene confirmed in an exclusive interview with Hollywood Life. Cynthia confirmed her wedding date to Mike on Instagram in October, writing this time and day next year, 10, 10, 20. I will officially be Mrs. Cynthia Denise Bailey Hill. We'll definitely be watching to see if Nene and her husband, Greg Leak 63, makes the guest list. We weren't friends or we weren't best friends. We were good friends. Nene continues to see Nene. You, you don't start shit already. It's a play on words, baby. Either you're her friend or you're not her friend. Okay, good, better, best. Who cares? Okay, you're her friend. You want to come. You want some of that spotlight. You want some of that tape. Well, that's pretty much you want. You want to be paid for tape because you get paid for each episode. So you want to be a part of that taping because you want to get paid. Okay, now that's just it. Oh, just let's drop the friend thing. Okay, just I just want to be in attendance. That's all you have to say, Nita. Just I want to be there in attendance, girl. But anyway, um, that's my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, um, agreeing that the two did or do gen genuinely care for each other. We did care about each other at one point. Yes, the relationship between the ladies became strained after Cynthia invited Kenya Moore to a party back in season 11. And Nene had no idea she would be there. In the past, Nene hasn't held back when it comes to her issues with Kenya, describing her as the kind of friend that when she has time, she would call you versus being the type of friend that when called makes time. There's a effing difference. Kenya is not around for Cynthia to talk to. And yet she asks if it's she and Kenya are friends. That's the problem that bothers me. She added on the Real Housewives of Atlanta after show. Now, Nene, just to really tell you the truth, what they're saying out in the street, and I'm pretty much believing it myself, because I kind of think it is true. You just want to sit there at your back and call. You want her to listen to all of your woes, your concerns, this and third about Greg, about his past cancer. Uh, this, that, you know, everybody needs to just listen to you. You want to be center of attention. We ain't got time for that no more, Nene. We need you. You don't been on this damn show. I'm just going to say 12 years because I always remember you, even though you weren't on, I think, two episodes or, or, or maybe one time. I think, hell, I can't remember, okay? But I still remember you, your household name. When you say housewives, I do think of you. I'm not going to lie. But this mess when you keep coming and going and this, that, and third. Girl. And then you're talking about you don't want to come. You don't, you don't know if you're coming back for season 13. Stop lying. Yeah, you do. You just want to put everybody else in a frenzy. They really think that you would not come back. I'm like, what, what else do you have out there, Nene? What else do you have out there, babe? What else do you have out there that's a true check that you can take to the bank and it's credible and it will have sufficient funds for you to partake of? Okay. I haven't seen anything else. I know uh, swag is in three locations now, but I'm pretty sure if some of that Real Housewives of Atlanta is still funneling it through. Because even when you don't make sales for that particular month or day-to-day -day processing or having your store open, you still got to pay light bill. You got to pay water bill. You got to pay whatever it is to keep, you know, the business running, whether you're making money through consumer spinaches or not. You see what I'm saying? So... Girl, stop doing these interviews out here thinking you're fooling somebody because you're not. You're not, following, you're not fooling the old season ones, honey. Ain't nobody going to go to somewhere they don't like going. They eventually going to retire, leave it alone, quit, whatever, get fired. I, I don't care how you see it. They're not going to do it. So you enjoy this show. You're pretty much an independent contractor. You're an entrepreneur, and you love being told uh, what days you need to come in so you can get your cha chain, your taping on so you can make your money. Okay, so if you had to go back to a nine to five girl, it wouldn't be a pretty sight. So just stop the foolishness, okay? Stop acting like you're all that and in all that, and you to be all person, and that real house real housewives of Atlanta wouldn't survive without you. It would. We we didn't see you for what, a couple of one season, and we didn't see you, you know, for the first. Uh, two episodes it will survive it will go on trust and believe it will be somebody that will come out the woodworth that will be deemed enough to replace you and i'm telling you they looking at marlo hampton girl they looking at marlo hampton because she ain't coming in saying she friends with none of these women you want to throw the friendship name around just like can you want to throw the friendship name around just like it don't got a, it's a dirty word now you know what i'm saying because people that got friends like y'all don't need no enemies straight up all right but now my little coming in saying she don't care nothing about these women. It's about all about the money. All about what I can bring to continue to be on the show until it goes off the air. Point, period, and blank. And I like that. 
I like that in uh, Marlo. Just tell what it's going to be. And if we happen to like each other, we're so cordial with each other, we're being able to tape, you know, around each other and still have some good, a camaraderie, a, a love for one another. But it's just on, on camera, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm going to break bread with you or whatever. But if anything happens, you know, you definitely going to have my condolences and I'm definitely going to see it and do what I need to do. But, you know, I already have my set of friends that are like tried and true, tried and true. They don't been through the fire with me or they don't been through the fire and they don't test it. Their loyalty. So, you know, I don't need nobody else. You really don't. Excuse me, Jay. Come on. Come on back in. I'm going to leave him out there. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm just getting tired of all the foolishness. I'm like, just go on and give me drama. Give me what they pay you to give me. And the time that I sit up there and watch y'all for that hour, we're really about, I want to say it's just really maybe 35, 40 minutes because the rest of them are commercial, you know? So you're not really giving me a full hour. But damn, I'm just, I'm, give me something to chew on, you know what I'm saying? Don't feed me salad all the time. You know, I know some of y'all say, well, you need a little bit of salad going on. Because, you know, I'm, I'm looking at you kind of be. I know that, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying, I want drama. I want to be able to chuckle. I want to be able to laugh. Because I already know it's a scripted piece of mess. You know, these people don't uh, sit and break bread and be sharing family photos and stories and carrying on and they bringing them over for holiday cheers and stuff like that child please because if it was so i live in atlanta and i'm telling you i go around some affluent people sometimes or some fluent areas where you know celebrities are bound to be shown just depending on if they're coming in atlanta that day or not and um they, please okay but anyway moving on back to the article um Let's see. Need Kenya Moore to a party. Wait a minute. Kenya Moore to a party. Well, she threw a party in season 11. And Nene had no idea she would be. No, Cynthia threw the party. And Kenya Moore came to the party during season 11. And uh, she had no idea that Kenya was going to be there. But, you know, lo and behold, <laughs> we just going to say. Cynthia knew. We just going to get over that barrier, that hump. Even though she's saying she didn't know. But, you know, Candy and um, Cynthia wanted her back. They talked to Bravo Zest. They agreed to bring her back. But she had to do certain things and make sure certain things happened as far as drama. And then they solidified the deal. So she back and they give it up. You can't go around people and dictate here and there what these people going to do on their time. Or what they feel they want to do. You just be lucky you are even asked to come to the situation. Okay, baby? But nobody needs to give you. That don't happen in real life. Maybe to some people to a certain degree. But most people don't give heads up. They'll just say, baby, I'm throwing a party. I'm inviting everybody. And guess what? It might be somebody you don't like. Now, you can choose to come or not. I'm just telling. I ain't going to give you my guest list. But I'm inviting everybody that we hang around. Even the ones that, you know, you don't really care for. But I care for. You know? I'm saying because they ain't did nothing to me and what they really did to you ain't really worth you know your time to be getting upset just move on you know this is just like a circle we have to um be in and we have to rub and make connections and i ain't finna mess up my uh thing just because you don't like somebody else stay at home but no i invited you boo so you know if you missed the uh socialite event of the the month or the year then that's you because you were invited but anyway that's how i would have handled that situation if if um uh, i was cynthia but mm. anyway <coughs> excuse me um it goes on to say in the past nini hasn't held back when it comes to her issues with kenya describing her as the kind of friend that when she has time for you she has time okay i did that one um when it comes to nini's past with cynthia the queen's new york native still keeps it real even making a shady comment in a recent interview on the morning hustle she's definitely weak now nini you know you shouldn't say it that uh neither said in the june 28th interview about cynthia she's just doing whatever she needs to do she looks really desperate cynthia's not desperate um she um caters to your ego uh, more so than none of us really want to see ever again we hope she hopefully she has put that to rest but yeah she mostly just gets up and try to be whatever you want her to be and try to take with you and you just be her you let her be your assistant in a sense that's pretty much how you always have seen cynthia and you made her look to us 
uh, as that particular person, like your do girl. So you never really was genuinely in my book, uh, friendly with Cynthia, and you really took your friendship, but uh, to heart because she brought you back on the show. If you uh, really want to remember, while you was failing miserably over there in the Glee, and they was getting ready to cancel the show, and you didn't have nowhere to go, like some you know income that was coming in every. A month or every bi week or however you got down with Bravo paying you. Um, Cynthia brought you back in as a friend to the friend, you know, trying to get you back on. So, Cynthia, you should be a homage to her. Just like Cynthia and Ken brought Kenya back in. Kenya should be paying homage to them. But, like I said, she already don't show it out on Cynthia this past uh, episode. And then, lo and behold, she's going to show out on Candy. We just waiting to see it, okay? And then it's going to be like, okay. Everybody, love, fair, love, and war. There's love and war. Wait a minute. All is fair, love, and war going to be going on around now. They're going to be turn up, turning out on each other. But, you know, that's how entertainment um, business is. Everybody turn on each other eventually because everybody want that number one spot. Everybody want to be making more money. And to me, Kenya, when she was over there trying to say can make more than any, she was trying to find out what the pay grade was for each individual. I peep game. Uh, can you wink wink I pee game baby you just trying to find out per se what each individual person makes so you just trying to start some shit out there in the social media street thing of people gonna come out there and tell you know what they really make behind a can it may be young but she ain't naive <laughs> mama Joyce taught her way up to the game but anyway going back to the article it said um Cynthia later had a chuckle about the comments she got ready for uh, the New York, the NYC Pride Parade that same day with Eva Marcel. Just desperate not to be your damn friend anymore, mm -hmm. Cynthia said in the episode, adding that Nene only makes such comments because she can. Cynthia has also previously laughed off Nene calling her a backstabber with Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live. For her part, Nene doesn't regret her comments, despite appearing to make amends. No, I do not regret it. She continued to Hollywood life. I stand by most things that I say. I can tell you that. I do not regret what I said. That's what I saw and now... And I'm not going to take my thoughts back. As for how things are going to turn out between the two, Nene T's that fans will have to tune in to the show to see where Cynthia and I are at. Okay? But my thing about this, Nene, you still ain't, um, you ain't sorry for nothing. So, your mixed words of friends, friendship, all that's just bullshit. You know, pretty much. You don't care about it. And it's time for Cynthia to start looking at who really cares about her, who really don't care about her, and treat them accordingly. Now, do you have to go out and cuss her out verbally, using cuss words and all that? No, not necessarily. But throw shade, honey. Throw <laughs> assert yourself to let you know this is your house you live here it's my house and i live here whoa, whoa. it's my house and i live here just like nene had her rules and regulations trying to sit there and make you some and stand by them when people start getting on your nerve get them folks out your house get them folks out your space okay your aura you don't need all that put yourself together honey look in that mirror every day and say i am she roar i roar <laughs> okay pat yourself on the back sometime get a backbone stand up like a real oh gee girl you 52 years old you don't need nobody telling you all the person you need to pay homage to and praise to is the lord up above who can bleep one eye and destroy your whole essence your whole being okay that's who you should be scared of all right but that's all i have for this interview guys this uh commentary i did on nene leaks telling cynthia bailey yes baby send me the invitation and i'll be there well maybe unless i got something else to do <laughs> girl cynthia try send her invitation but don't expect her to be there and if she shows up okay you have kenya on one arm you have candy on the other one you have eva there you just have the whole cast all right and invite marlo that should be very very interesting as well but i don't think nobody's gonna tear up your wedding here they ain't do eva and please don't let nene come up there and give a toast because we don't like how she toasts at all okay if it ain't about it it ain't her day so if it ain't her day she might mess up your day so just you know send her 
an invitation if it comes at the last moment. At least she said it. You know, she got it or whatnot. She can say whatever she wants to say because she's going to do it anyway. She's going to always look at you as weak, desperate, and degrade you as any chances she can get. Okay? So, she sees what it is. All right? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it uh, and watched it through its entirety from beginning to end. From end to beginning. Okay? Whatever. Rewind it. Break it up in, spark, in spots. And I will see you next video, okay? Bye.